Hi, welcome to How to Triathlon. Um, in this video, I will start installing the um, br um, the brake shifter on the right side of the bike. So um, here, I already have the hydraulic cable that uh, ran out from here, and I now want to install um, a nipple on top. Uh, the, the actually the the bib on top of it, and I just want to show you how the um, the cutting tool works. So, so this is what the um, the Shimano tools looks like. And to open it first, you can see that um, this is actually this side is the cutter, and this side is the tool for press for holding the cable and pressing in the um, uh, the bib into the cable. So to unlock it, you first have to press this blue button here. See how this unlocks the cutter, and then you slide it out like this. All right, um, and then you unclip this in the bottom, open this up, and now you can open up the, the tool. So first we are going to slide the cable in, and let me see if I can get a little bit more lighting here. Um, so let me just push in a little bit more on the cable. So here you can see I can just slide the cable in like this. I still want, <coughs> even though the cable is actually flush and this is it came from the factory, I still wanted to cut it just to make sure if you can see the um, kind of like the indents here. That's the part where the cable needs to end in order to insert the um, uh, the bib correctly into the cable. So I just wanted to make sure the cable is at the right length. So I'm just going to trim the cable a little bit over here. And uh, one part that's very interesting is that uh, once the cable is set in here, and you can see as I slide this tool over, you can see there's a little bit of a, um, this part over here. Let me see if I can get enough lighting. You can see that is actually going in and uh, over the cable to lock it in. So so here we go. And, I, and then you have to press it in harder until you hear a click sound like this. And now I'm going to slide over the cutter um, on the cable. And you can see this is where it's going to hold the cable inside. Um, so I'm sliding it over here. And I'm just going to press it to cut the cable. Okay, it's nice and smooth. And now that I can slide the, the cutter back out, and you can see that the cable is successfully trimmed. It's a very clean cut. And what I need to do now is to um, put the uh, put the bib into the cable, right? So you can see that this is the, the one that comes with the brake cable. I'm going to insert it into the hammer like likewise. Press this in a little bit. Uh, actually, it could be difficult, so maybe I just have to... Um, See if I can. Well, actually, it would just keep sliding out. So I'll see if I can set this one up. Okay. So the on the instruction, it say that I can press this in, but this is just metal on metal. There's really nothing holding the. Um, Nipple. So maybe if I can twist it a little bit, well, it's, it's actually keep coming out. So what I would do, um, is to hold it a little bit like this over here. Just press it in a tiny bit, and then what I'll do now is, um, as I insert this tool, like the hammer, into the tool, um, 
I would just make sure they are flush inside. So let me turn the camera a little bit over here so you can get a better view. So here you can see that um, inside, I'm just making sure that there, there, the hammer is flush, right? As you can see here. Now there, the uh, bib, if I can zoom in a little bit here, you can see that it is completely flush inside the hammer, right? You can see how I'm inserting it over here. So it's now completely flush. And I'm just going to use the tool here to press it in. Okay, and it's done. Make sure I'm pressing it in correctly. So now I can just remove the hammer and I can unclip the tool. And you can see that you can still see the kind of like this uh, guard over the cable. And I'm just going to uh, kind of move this out a little bit. I just kind of sliding a little bit here and we came out and that's, that's perfect. So that's how we install the, um, the bib over the cable. And you can see that it's very, um, the tool is super nice, right? You can see that the, I got a very clean cut on the cable. And, then, and it's just nice and flush um, install over the nipple. So now what I need to do is that I need to first slide the, um, um, slide in a couple parts. So, um, with the brake cable, it actually comes with three kinds of, uh, of what they call the flare nuts, right? So you can see these three different kinds. Uh, and since my shifter is the STR9180, so I'll be using the silver one, the longest one. And I will slide this over here. And then I will slide the olive over here as well. And one thing that Shimano recommended me to do is to um, basically uh, measure about 15, min uh, 15 millimeter into the cable um, to ensure that uh, and make a mark there to ensure that it's completely flush and installed. So I'm just setting around like 15 millimeter around here. I'm just putting in a mark around here. Okay. And I got the right side uh, shifter here. So this is a 9180. Uh, let me clean the stuff on the front a little bit. So um, so I will, you know, you can see here, this is where the cable would go in. So I'm just going to push this in. actually loosen up a little bit just want to make sure I press in the cable like deeply enough yeah I think this is pretty good and then I will use there like a 12 millimeter underneath here um, and then I will use eight millimeter to um, to basically secure the nuts. And they basically say tighten to around five to six uh, newton meter.
let you see that it's pretty tight already. And then the, on the other side, you can see there's the um, the SD50 that I would uh, basically push into uh, this side over here. So I'll do that as well. And this part I just basically use um, um, just a standard um, tool to um, to push it in. It's actually and it's actually quite challenging because this cable. Um, I'll try to see if I can slide it in a little bit more, but it's it's actually it doesn't really have that much gif um, because the if the length is quite short, so it's really hard to. Um, let me make sure I got the right one. I was using the wrong tool, that's why it was a little bit off. So I can slide it in over here. But this is going to be tight. And then I'm just going to push this in. So I just need to make sure it has a good um, like it, it's secure on the back side likewise and then I'm just going to push it in okay nice click and now I can actually um, push this in a little bit more over here and this is then designed to clip onto the uh, the brake cable likewise but before I do that, I'm just going to tighten it a little bit more. Because I feel like it should be tight enough, but I just wanted to just give it a little bit more at the end. Just making sure it's, this is tight enough, because otherwise the oil could leak. Oh yeah, that feels pretty tight. So the way it works now is that I can install this by um, clipping it over here and then I can just slide it all the way in and then I'll be feeding the, using the, dragging out the brake, um, the brake cable here and this is what it would look like. Um, just making sure I'm twisting and pulling the cable a little bit more. Okay. And to secure this, I would need to use the... Uh, actually, let me zoom out just a tiny bit here. I will basically use a two millimeter wrench. And the way it works is... Uh, actually, let me push this out a little bit. So if you can see, um, there is... Uh, let me see if I can get you a better angle here. Um, there, you can see this metal part over here. And this is what's going to push up this part. You can see we just push this part up and that would help it secure the shifter inside the, 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 um, the, the carpet, the tube. So, um, so the way it works is once I push this in, um, I can then um, use the um, two millimeter wrench um, to secure the front. For that, I actually need to need a little bit of light to make sure that I can see the, the part on the inside because it's really, it's not easy to see. Okay, I think I found it. So I will start twisting this. Let me make sure this is upright. Yeah, I feel that it's just it. okay, I think that's pretty tight. So this is now secure and let me zoom out a little bit and this is what it would look like um, on the bike and I'm just going to let it just let you see a different angle here. And I probably need to adjust this like a little bit 
rotate it a little bit clockwise, I think it's slightly off. Um, but that's pretty much how I install the um, the, the bridge shifter. Now I'm going to do the other side. Oh, one part I wanted to call out was that um, I forgot to ins uh, to put in some anti seats in the in the flare, flare nuts. So I've just done that and reinsert the nuts here after I putting some anti seats. And also the way that the DI two cable, you basically you see this kind of a ridge here, right? You need to make sure that the DI two cable is flush and it's not coming, uh, it's not like flaring out, so that uh, when you install it inside. Uh, everything would look perfect and the cable is not getting squeezed. I've just done it here now and and uh, and this is now perfect. All right, now we move on to the right uh, to the left. I'm side. working on the left side of the shifter. I already have the bip install on the cable, the olive and um, and the flare nut and I already put on some anti seats on their flare nut. So I'm going to first uh, let me fit in a little bit more of this cable here. Just going to make sure that this is pushed in. And then I'll start tightening this with um, with, with hand before I use a wrench to um, to further tighten this up. And this is a eight millimeter down here. So I'll just do a couple turns to start locking this in. And then I'm going to use a 12 millimeter up down here. To hold this while I, um, making sure this is the 12, okay. Oh, I tighten this a little bit further. Okay, feel that as tight enough. And again, for the DI2, I'm going to, this could be a challenge here because my DI2 wires are super tight down here. So I'll see if I can just push it in a little bit more, just to fit in a little bit more of this cable here. So I can, um, so I can, Barely put put this on the tool and, um, and clip this in. Okay, nice click. And I just always feel like want to tighten it a tiny bit more. So um, just making sure this is good. Alright, I think that's enough. So so here we go. So again I will push in their DI2 cable as much as I can here and then I'll clip this part of here and 
again like what I did on the right side right just making sure this is all flush before I push it in and use the just pull the cake break cable out here okay so that is nice nice and flush and I'll zoom out a little bit um, I use the, the two millimeter up here to um, let me fish it around a little bit to find Okay, here we go. To to tighten this to the bar. Okay. So here we go. Um, just to show you what it looks like on the right side. So I, on the left side, sorry. So I have this nicely installed with both the DI2 cable and their hydraulic brake cable um, all set up to go.